Dreallday.com. Dre Dreallday.com. Work on my game.com. I might as well say mirrormotivation.com. I'm going to tell you about this in a minute. But this whole conversation that I've been having with people on my live streams, if you don't follow me on IG, I do a live stream almost every day at Dre Baldwin on Instagram. And I've talked about it here on these videos, but I like the live stream because I can deal with the commentators right there in the moment as opposed to later on on like YouTube or Facebook. Uh, this whole conversation about talent, you know, that I've been talking about and sometimes people don't quite get it, especially when I'm talking to athletes because a lot of athletes have been you know, indoctrinated into believing that if they just work hard enough and believe in themselves enough, even if they don't have talent, that the success is going to occur anyway. And that's not necessarily true. Most of the time it's not true at all in any way, shape or form. And here's what you need to understand because I don't need to go give you the same argument again that I've already given you, but what you gotta understand is this. The magic formula for success in life is a combination of talent and effort. But the challenge that people have is not effort. I mean, well, some people had a challenge of effort, but it's not because they don't know about it. Everybody understands the concept of hard work. If you wanna get good at something, you gotta put the time in, you gotta put the effort in. The thing is, the most important aspect of that the success equation is the talent because a lot of people try to force themselves to be good at something in which they don't have talent and then no matter how hard they work they're not getting to that they're not getting to the outcome that they want to get to understand that when you have a lot of talent but you don't work hard what you end up at as is what people call an underachiever a person who had all this ability but you didn't do anything with it if you have a whole lot of if you have very little talent but you work really hard the furthest you can get is what we call mediocrity. Mediocrity is when you're, I mean, you're not terrible, but you're not that good either. You're not that memorable. I mean, we could do with or without you. You're replacement level, like they say in sports. And if you don't have any talent and you don't work hard, then you're just a failure, you do nothing. The magic formula, the people that you hear about, the people that you know about, are the people who have a combination of talent and they work really hard at what they do. For example, let's say a Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Michael Jordan. These are people who are very talented at what they do, but at the same time, they recognize that talent and they harnessed that talent through effort, hard work, dedication, all those other you know, things that people talk about that you need to do to become successful. Yes, they did all those things, but they also had talent to go with it. When you find that mix, that's when your success occurs. So your challenge, is not that you need to figure out how to work hard. I think everybody understands hard work. Now, there may be some strategies to it that could help you, but you understand the concept of working hard, do you not? The concept that you really got to get is figuring out where your talent is. I think, and I talked about this in another video a week or two ago, is that too many people are trying to force themselves to be, or thinking that they can force themselves to be great at something in which they don't have the natural abilities that other people have. Therefore, their ceiling is mediocrity while you're going against people whose ceiling is greatness. So no matter how hard you work, even if you work harder than them or you think you do, I don't know how people quantify how you're working harder than somebody else. But anyway, you, there's only but so far that you can get with that. So what you need to do is get real with yourself and figure out where is my real talent? That doesn't mean you can't like things. There are things that I like. Listen, I like music. I listen to music all day. All, right, all day while I'm working, I'm either listening to music, I'm listening to a podcast, I'm listening to audiobooks. Now, I've, I've written books and done plenty of audiobooks. I've done plenty of podcasts. I do not, I do not, have not ever made music and probably never will, but I still listen to it. I enjoy music. I like when a new, some artist that I like comes out with new music. I enjoy that stuff. I'll talk about music with other people who are music enthusiasts, which is pretty much everybody, but it doesn't mean I'm going to go try to make it. I'm not going to go try to make a rap album. I don't have any bars. I ain't no singing. I'm not performing nowhere as a musician, even though I enjoy it. So you may enjoy basketball and love it and want to be part of the game. But listen, playing may not be your destiny. And the reason why I'm using basketball is because my background is a basketball player. So I know a lot of basketball players uh, listen to me and come to me asking me questions about these subjects. And also just because, as I said in that other video, so many of us in our culture think that sports or music is the only way that we can become successful when there are myriad ways of becoming successful you just need to open yourself to the possibility that your talent may be something other than what you see on tv or what you see on social media it could be something that isn't that sexy doesn't get promoted and hyped up as much by fans but success is right there for the taking depending on how you define success if success means a certain amount of money taking care of your family 
knowing that you did something to build your legacy, something that can help future generations that come after you. Listen, you can get success a million different ways. You don't have to play basketball. You don't have to make music to do that. But you just got to open yourself to the possibility. You know what? Maybe my talent is not in this particular space, but it could be in another space. Very rarely do I see anybody say, well, you know, I'm going to prove everybody wrong and, you know, make myself a doctor, even though people don't think I can do it because nobody sees it that way. Everybody believes if you want to be a doctor, go to school, put the years in, you can be a doctor. But it's only in things like basketball or music that so many, a disproportionate number of people think that if they just work hard enough and believe in themselves enough that they'll quote unquote make it. Why don't nobody says that about being a lawyer or an accountant or starting a, a brick and mortar you no know, business in the neighborhood? It's because people have these delusional ideas. Now, let me not even say delusion, though. That's not the right word to use. People have these ideas that not even delusions, but they're just based on their this myopic look at the world. The world is way bigger than what you see. And again, I don't want to regurgitate the video that I already did. The number one element, this is the bottom line. Number one element to creating a high level of success in life is you need to find a mix of your talent and where you're willing to put in the effort. Because when you have talent at something and you start working at it, first of all, you're less self-conscious about it because you know you're already good. Second of all, you naturally start to get better at it because you're dealing, you're working from a base of already having some abilities, some natural abilities. When I say talent in this context, I'm talking about natural God-given abilities that you did not practice for. Now, I know there are other definitions of talent that if you work hard and you keep continue to get better at something, you can call that talent too. And I can see that, but for the context of this, that's what I mean, natural abilities that you didn't train for. When you have natural abilities or something and you start working at it, you start to get better at it. You start to get more success at it. You get better faster because you're working at something that you're actually good at and you don't have a problem doing the work because you know you're already good. You're getting success. It's hard to keep working hard at something when you don't have any achievements, when you're not good at it, when it's very frustrating because you don't seem to be making progress. When you're making progress, it's easy to keep working. This is how it's much easier for some 6'8 guy who's really athletic to practice basketball than it is for some 5'8 guy with no athletic ability to practice basketball because the 6'8 guy has some natural abilities. He's probably getting some natural feedback from the, from the universe and from other people telling him or her that, hey, there's an opportunity there for you to keep. If you keep at this, you got an opportunity to do this, 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 whereas the 5'8 person might not be getting that kind of feedback. Maybe you do, but you're probably not getting as much as the 6'8 guy. Again, just an example. Are there five, eight people who can possibly make it to you no know, D1? Sure, there's always one or two or five, but you understand the point that I'm making. All right, I'm in the general point of what I'm making, you get it. Now, if you happen to be one person who thinks nobody believes in you and you're gonna prove the world wrong, listen, I'm not here to tell you that you can't. What I'm here to tell you is that combination of talent and hard work is where the magic occurs for every single one of us in life. What you need to do is figure out where that mix exists for you. It is not the same as for anyone else. Your mix is your mix, but if you're only looking at what everybody else is doing, not looking at yourself enough, then you'll never actually find that mix. So make sure you put some time into figuring out what it is for you and not for everybody else. Work on your game. I know you. I told you I was going to tell you about this. Mirror motivation, the self-guide, the self-discipline. I've already paid for this book. All you got to do is take care of the shipping. You swipe up but we're not on Instagram, so you can't swipe up. Go to the link in the video description, mirrorofmotivation.com. On that link, all you gotta do is tell me where, I'm trying to block that sun, that glare right there. All you gotta do is tell me where to ship this book. If you have a physical mailing address, I will ship this book to you. All you gotta do, again, go to the link in the video description, 160 page book, self-guide to self-discipline. Learn to set, set your soul, your spirit on fire for you to do what you wanna do First, by being who you need to be. That's the mirror motivation. Work on your game. Dre all day.